Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to clear the flint tube and hopefully get this second ASR Ascot semi-automatic windproof lighter back up and working. You can see that the mechanism functions as it should, but the flint tube is obstructed, therefore no flint in the tube to grind up against the file wheel and produce a shower of sparks. This was the first one, the one that had my name on it, and it did not have old degraded flint in its tube. And of course, lights right up just as it should. But the second of the two lighters is actually the one that's more important because it's the one that I'm going to give away to my brother-in-law since it has his name engraved on it. Pull our insert here. Set the case aside. Got the insert which you can see that that wheel does turn. Pull out our flint spring and screw assembly here which is a little bit different on these ASR windproofs because they had the year-long flint. So we will pull that out. Of course, clean that up before we put it back in there. Get a hold of this felt pad and we're going to pull that off of there just so it doesn't get any dirtier than it needs to. Set that aside over here. You'll notice I've got a tray here to put all my parts in as we work on this lighter. I'm sure that if our buddy Gavin Landon is watching right now, he's saying finally. <laughs> he's been telling me I needed to get a hold of some trays for a good while now. So hopefully we can keep some of that filth off the work surface. I'm not certain about that flint. Whether the end of this is supposed to come off and therefore allow you to slide a flint in there. or exactly how that flint got in there. Maybe you can squeeze it in there here in the middle. Hard to say. Anyway, we're going to leave it in there for right now because it's not hurting anything. The other flint spring and screw that I had came loose. Well, I'll just go ahead and show you. Well, there you go. So you can see how that one came off there, but I'm not sure if that is supposed to come off of there like that. Once that it has come off of there, maybe somewhat difficult to get that entire assembly to come on out of there. There we go. So then we can thread that piece on up. The actual flint spring screw or what's serving as the screw is this little threaded insert here. So it screws in and then this will push on up and out of the way. 
You can see that this one is somewhat damaged in the way that it has been twisted over time. But as I was saying, this knob, or what would function as the end of the screw, came off. But this other one does not necessarily appear as though that is going to come out as easily. And it also appears as though there may be some old degraded flint. So we'll have to see at a certain point whether we want to try to take that apart any further. But for now, we are going to leave this as it is in one piece until I can get confirmation that that is supposed to come off. So I am now going to install back into the lighter that has Joe engraved on it, the one that belongs to me. I'm going to screw that thread back down in there. And that is... Not tight enough just yet. There we are getting sufficient spark. Back this back out of here far enough that I can get a hold of it to where I can push that back into place. And we'll tighten it back up. And then get that stowed back out of the way. Okay, so we got good spark back in that one. But we already had good spark in that one. That is not what we are trying to achieve here. We are trying to clear out this tube set these other parts back out of the way here so that we don't get old degraded flint all over them and we're just going to spin that and you could probably see that moving up into that tube with your own eyes it appears as though that broke through so we will dump as much as this as we can. You can see that old flint dust there. Get as much of that as we can out of there. We're going to blow the rest of this off. Get our tray out of the way with our degraded flint dust all over it. Get a toothpick here. We want to clean up where you've got some old degraded flint stuck to this file wheel here. Pretty dirty. And we may have some more cleaning to do on that. Once we get everything lined up here. Take our brand new flint and drop it down the tube. Get our belt pad back in place. Now screw our 
flint spring screw assembly back down. Got pressure there. This pin keeps wanting to slide out, which I'm not sure that it will have that problem when it is actually inside the case. I think that case may keep it lined up, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's loosen that up just a little. Pin straightened up in there. Now we can go ahead and add some fuel to this. Despite the fact that we still have some problems we're going to have to sort through with this lighter, we do now have a clear flint tube that has been dispatched of all the flint dust that have built up in there or degraded in there. And that wadding looks like it has absorbed plenty of fluid. We will install our mechanism insert back into the lighter. Oh, and we got a little flame there, but well, I thought it went out, it's just flickering. Get a little bit more fume built up here. And we should be able to demonstrate that this is now a working lighter. Even though we may have some kinks we got to work out in it, glad to get it up and running and hopefully soon be able to pass it on as a gift to my brother-in-law. Until next time.